It's Mariana from BFM Radio. Mariana Laurens van BFM Radio. Ek is hier by die Mandela Bay Theater Complex en dit is die Issa Connell Awards geleentheid. Yes, it is an amazing event here about the Issa Connell Awards. So I am going to ask a young winner to introduce himself and to tell us a bit about himself. My name is Wong Pamla. I come from Stakesbridge, where I am the treasury of uh, Stakesbridge Community Art Center. Stakesbridge Community Art Center is based in Stakesbridge, of course. We accommodate uh, lots of uh, young artists and also any age of artists to participate in the activities that are presented in the art center. And at the same time, they present their own ideas and we assist them and work with the center, uh, work with them as the center. Also working with other institutions based around town and also governmental institutions uh, that we collaborate with to make sure that uh, the art space is always presented in every form of publicity and also in every form of commercial business in arts, uh, put Just it to that put way. Just the spotlight on yeah, them, yes. Yeah. And of course this Issa Kono Award is for the development yeah. of all of that. Let me swing over to Mr. Songwa Bile Nfekane. We've always seen each other around, so please introduce yourself and tell us what you do. He does a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, my name is Sonabi Lemfekane. I work for the Mandela Bay Theatre Complex. I am the production assistant focusing on festivals and uh, community arts development. Today we had this event of giving the awards to the winners for the year 2024-2025 who will be um, given the grant that comes with the Isakono Award. Isakono Award is actually a business development, business support kind of award. It's a fellowship. So Mr. Spamla here is here representing the winner in the category of community arts development. He's all the way from State State and congratulations yeah. to him. Yes, okay. great Thank congratulations so because yeah. the award is actually, it helps in, in development because it's a little bit of cash in the pocket. Yeah. We won't go uh, there, we won't say what the amount is, but it's going to help a great deal. Yeah, I believe that uh, you coming from the villages of Stakespray, there's not much of financial dose towards the art center, though we always strive to look for other opportunities to make sure that we have a cash flow base in the, uh, in the art center, making sure that uh, we always feed the artists, not only to depend on their art alone, on their creativity, but to always be motivated to be able to feed their families as well, also to develop the community because you find that in areas where they are only artists at the end of the day once they become hungry they become criminals but uh, if there is something that can create that kind of a cash flow it's going to assist them to see that okay there is cash in this in in art and there is actually Make, it's worth it and I can actually make a living through art so I think this is a significance to that and also realizing that okay the work that we are doing we should continue doing it and I believe that by this uh, we are the only functioning center in Jogabi as a whole as a district so I believe with this uh, kind of incentive that we got from this award is going to assist us to reach to more towns and to be able to reach in areas that we couldn't reach in the previous year so I believe that such development that that we've been awarded for today is going to be also introduced to other areas. As I mentioned, that we have been reached to many areas, so I believe those as well can also benefit to this contribution as well. Indeed. Oh, it's a huge thing. Sonwa Bile. Do they call me Sonwa for sure? Do they? No, no you said Sonwa Bile. Yeah. I must say Sonwa Bile. Yes. Okay. Because there's a meaning to that name. Yes. What does it mean? We are happy. Ah, no wonder he's always smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Sonwa Bile, just to end off, what can we look forward to? Because we're in a new year. We have to do a lot this coming year of 2024. A lot is going to come and in April we start a new financial year, of course, according to how, how things go. And then there is a lot of great things. I was just talking to Mr. Spamla saying I admire his commitment because he got into the bus last night and arrived this morning. He's going back to the bus and said, 
was saying to him, look, State Street is not too far for me. <laughs> when you have an event there, I will ask my managers here at the MPTC to allow me to go because as much as we do support the community arts development, the artists and all, it won't be very good for us to support things that we do not see. What if they are not developed and someday they get invited to go and do something at the Market Theatre, State Theatre, Devon Playhouse and they are from our province and they go there do something that we're not going to be proud of. Yes, so indeed. we need to go to see that development takes the proper steps. So, okay, well, let's and, yeah. go there then, 24, 25. <laughs> we'll go to, to, to <laughs> I believe he told me it's about 800 kilometers away. Yeah. Yeah. So we all can make the trip. Yeah. So I just want to thank both of you. I have to move on to the other contestants, but thank you so much and congratulations so again. We're so proud of you, Hungeza. Thank you so much. You you should definitely come to Stake Spray because there are lots of areas great for tourism as well. You'll just enjoy your life. You'll well, just enjoy well, your time as well. In what area is it? It's Stake Spray next to Lesotho. Thank you so much. Thank you. Be you blessed are welcome. as you go. Thank you so much. Thank you, Coco. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely thrilled when you do. Okay. Bye. All right. And now I am with two more award winners for the Isakono Awards. And I want to start, I think, with Ka- Kawe Kazi. But they call you Kawe. Kawe. Kawe Kawe. Yes. Oh, get the click. Kawe Kazi, just introduce yourself and say what you won the award for. So I'm Kawe, Kawe Gazi in full. I am an ethnomusicology scholar and also musician, vocalist. My passions lie within indigenous music, understanding indigenous knowledge systems, and also understanding music through sound healing, how it affects the community and our lives as a whole. So I won for the Research and Writing Fellowship. Research and Writing. Yeah, research yeah and that writing. is huge. I mean, I can't write my husband always says, write that down, write that down. <laughs> and apparently that's what one should do. So when mm-hmm. thoughts come in, you must write it down. But of yeah. course, you know, as non-writers, we fail in that. <laughs> and Sora, of course, we have spoken together. I think then already he also won the Isakona Award today. And that is... <gasps> oh, I've won the Dance and Musical Theatre. Dance Award. and Musical Theatre. And I think last time we spoke, we also said how therapeutic it is. I don't know if you remember. Yeah. Because he was doing Shrek. Yeah, we were in the middle of Shrek. He was in the middle of Shrek then. Yeah. That was last year. And I always emphasize about how therapeutic the arts are. All the arts, the music, the visual, the creative. The people who create the statues, make the paintings, paint and draw, do whatever, is therapeutic for them. And it is therapeutic for the ones who behold it, the ones who see it, the ones who listen to it, the ones who hear it. So, Yes, a little bit more now about your award. Me and my profession, I'm a singer, actor, dancer by profession. I have now branched out into directing, mm. choreographing and producing. I now also run the Solar School Institute in Performing Arts based in East London. And, you know, it's mainly what I'm essentially now going to be focusing on is, you know, working on various productions. And that's the main thing it is that I'm going to be working on with this wonderful fellow award that I've been yes. awarded. Because now you can afford to stick your neck out <laughs> yes, some <even> more. tiny <laughs> bit further. <laughs> because you're from East London, and yes. of course, there's a lot of stuff happening in East London as well. Absolutely. I mean, very, very busy. I've it's got friends busy, yeah. in East London, I've got the singing group, Kerry Hiles. Yes, Kerry Hiles, the and, Angry Birds. Yeah, the Angry Birds, and then there's the other ones, they don't play like covers. You sing Law. I'll think about it and I'll tell you. So you as well, you can do so much now more with yeah. your research because, Kawe, you work where? That is your area. Also in, in East London. Oh, you're also in, yeah, East, London. in East London. So you're yeah. also in East London. So quite interesting also. It's exciting to bring because I work with Sandawa monocord beds. So it's quite a unique instrument that allows people to almost ex- experience musical vibrations on the instrument. It's like a very large almost as big as this table but if you can imagine it, it's got strings 
26 strings underneath. So when you come for session, you are lying on the table while I'm playing strings for you and singing for you. And it's quite a unique experience interested to get more people to experience that and document their, uh, their, document perception their perceptions and, and their progress and reactions over time when you engage with vibrational sound therapy. Yeah. Vibrational sound therapy. Mm-hmm. Now you see, that's exactly it. I mean, that's the arts for you. And you know, God made the arts. He created the arts. He created music and he created everything. All our talent. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Further along now, 24, 25, we, in the new year, we, it's a new dispensation. So tell us, what are you looking forward? What are we looking forward to in this London? Do you ever work together? Yeah. Oh, yeah. good. Every so now and then, yeah. Like, it's very small. Now you can do more together. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I would say for me, many more new productions and collaborations and just bringing the community together through the arts and just engaging work. I think that's where I'm looking at and just looking back in order to look forward. I think that's my mission for 2024, looking back in order to look forward. That's a nice um, phrase, looking yeah. back in order to look forward. We yeah. must remember Don't that. stay God. there. But you no. must write it down. <laughs> <laughs> Take a peek. Okay. Yes, and then yes. Yeah. Kawe, you, you write it down, you use it in your writing. In my writing. <laughs> yes, yes. What can you look forward to there? Um, more strings. <laughs> yeah, more strings. And I guess building more awareness of sound therapy, of these types of instruments, and people in East London, something. Because sound therapy, I mean, it will make you sound. So that's so wonderful. So obviously we can say watch this space. Absolutely. From the two of you, from what I've heard and from what I know with Songma. So thank you so much for coming and please drive safely home. Be blessed and we're going to see what's happening. Thank you. Thank you. Mooi luok. Thank you. (laughs) Bye bye. Bye. From me, Mariana Lorenz, and art and entertainment, Mariana Lorenz, with no group, meet Kunz in Vermont, and Ari Wari.